All right, Jason, what are you paying attention to as we come out of this COVID-19? What are you looking at that could or may affect interest rates in the future? <clears throat> Excuse me, so I clear my throat there. I'm paying attention to corporate debt right now. And I'm looking at this very, very closely because this could impact interest rates short term and long term. And so what is corporate debt? Well, corporate debt is a means for companies, firms to raise capital for things that they want to do in the future. And if we think about some of the industries that have been hit hardest by the COVID-19 situation, pandemic, uh, airline tick, airlines, hotels, basically any company that is dependent upon social gatherings, uh, large corporations uh, that depend on social gatherings, concerts, that sort of thing. These companies are going to want to probably, in my opinion, run some sales in the future to help build the confidence of the American people that, hey, we're doing the right thing. Come on back, business. We'd love to see you come fly with us, right? And so they're going to need some capital to, to do advertising, to um, maybe do some PP, PPE training for their employees. Any, I mean, you name it, there's going to be need for money for these companies to get up and going, uh, up and running to where they were prior to COVID-19. So they're going to want to raise capital to do that. Now, one way that they could do that is they could go out and get a loan, right? Go out and get a loan just like the rest of us. That may not look so good on their balance sheet. So another way to do it is to issue debt or issue a corporate bond. Now, why is this important to mortgages? Well, the more bonds there are on the market, the more choices investors have in which to invest in, which the more choices, the lower the price. The lower the price, especially when it comes to mortgage-backed securities, the higher the interest rate. Now, I'm not saying that interest rates are going to go higher. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is that could influence interest rates. So mortgage-backed securities are a bond. And as a bond, as that price goes down because there's more competition to attract investors because of more issuance of bonds through corporations to raise capital, as that bond price comes down, rates go up. It does the exact opposite of the 10-year treasury yield. So as the yield goes, so do interest rates. So if the yield goes up on a 10-year treasury, interest rates go up. If it goes down, rates go down. And a lot of people associate the 10-year treasury as the rate barometer. And it is an indicator, uh, but mortgage-backed securities are really the heartbeat of mortgages. So with that, when there's more bonds on the market, more choices for investors to invest in, then prices are suppressed. Now, corporations have a little bit of an advantage here, meaning that they can, they, they typically issue these bonds based on treasuries. And so they'll issue a five, 10, 30 year um, corporate bond, and they'll issue a margin on top of the treasury yield. So to make it more attractive. So they'll say, hey, we'll pay you what the treasury will pay you if you invested in a treasury. But in addition to that, on a five year, we'll issue you hundred basis points on that. On the 10-year, we'll give you an additional 150 basis points. And on the 30-year, we'll give you an additional 200 basis points if you send us your money. And so it's very attractive for some investors to do that. Now, some investors are going to stick with government-issued treasuries. Safe bet. Companies aren't going to go out of business. They're not going to file bankruptcy. They're not going to disappear. 10-year treasury, safe bet. So there's going to be some demand for that. But it does put pressure on the mortgage-backed securities to be able to compete with that higher yield on a bond. And so they will lower their price even more. So as that bond goes, then rates go up. Now, thankfully, the current administration is committed to keeping interest rates low and stimulating the economy. So I'm not saying that this will, this means that interest rates are gonna go up. I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying is that there could be days, a couple days here and there, where we see some volatility in the mortgage interest rate market. And so it's going to be critical that you partner with a mortgage broker like myself who can watch the market and move on a moment's notice and really gauge as to when the interest rates are going to be at their lowest during the time frame in which you need to lock. So super important. We're going to see some ups and downs here. Overall, I do believe that interest rates will stay low for the next, through the end of the year, at least in my opinion, maybe a little bit longer. Um, but we will see days where they'll spike up just a little bit and you're gonna think that you missed the boat. 
You didn't miss the boat. You just need to get with a good professional who's watching the market, who knows what to watch for and what influences interest rates. So if that is something that you're looking for, I would love to be your loan officer of choice. So with that, I'll end it on that. Everyone have a great week and happy house hunting.